Here we have one of the more infamous related rate exercises. It involves a moving shadow. Okay, so a landscape light at ground level lights up the side of a tall building that is 15 feet from the light. A six foot tall man starts walking from the light directly toward the building. How fast is he walking when he is nine feet from the light if his shadow on the building is shrinking at two feet per second at that instant? Okay, well, as with any related rates exercise, the first thing we want to do is draw a picture, illustrating everything that's going on here and label it as best we can. And this is probably a good example to reread a couple times to make sure you deeply understand what's happening here, um, but it'll become a lot more clear once we have a picture. Okay, so here's my crude diagram, but I think it catches the drift pretty well. So we have a man who is six feet tall standing. There's a light over here on the right hand side and it's shining up against the man who is projecting a shadow onto the building. And these are the windows on the building, just to give an idea of what's happening here. So, uh, so what all is going on? So we can label some more stuff here. Uh, this man is six feet. So this distance here is six. And we know that the total distance from the building to the light is 15 feet. So 15 there. Um, so you maybe can start to see that we'll be using similar triangles here because what we're doing is forming one triangle inside of another. There's the small one, here's the large one. So, um, and you may say, I would have never guessed similar triangles. Well, the thing is with the related rates problems, a lot of these use similar triangles. So it is it is kind of one of the first things that you, you end up guessing to use after you've done a few of these. Um, okay, so let's fill out what else would we need for our, our uh, similar triangles here. Let's, let's let x be the distance from the man to the light. So that gives us x compared to 15. And let's let y be this distance of the shadow up on the building. Okay, so there we go. Um, we also have our givens and our goal. So let's write that out. So you always want to draw a picture first, label what you can, and then clearly state what's given in terms of the rates and what your goal rate is. These are related rates. So let's see, what are we given? I'm not going to write everything in here. I'm just going to focus on the rates. And what it says is we have dy dt at a certain instant, at the instant when x is equals 9 at that moment dy dt is negative 2 feet per second okay and our goal is how fast is he walking so how about dx dt when x equals 9 there's our goal so hopefully you're clear on what's happening here this man is walking towards the building as he walks towards the building, this shadow is going to get smaller and smaller. So when he's right up against the light, he would have essentially an infinite shadow on this building. And as he walks closer and closer to the building, that shadow is going to shrink, shrink. When he's right up at the building, the shadow is going to be exactly six feet tall, which is how tall he is. What someone has done is measured how fast his shadow is shrinking. And from that, we want to compute how fast he's walking. Okay, well, we need an equation that ties this all together. And let's check in with our steps to make sure we're not missing anything. Okay, step one, read and reread the problem, sketch a diagram, identify all the stuff we have done that. Check. Step two, write an equation that relates all the quantities in the exercise. That's what we need to do. If necessary, use geometry to eliminate a variable. Yeah, that's essentially, we'll use geometry to at least get the two variables related to each other. So let's do it. Okay, so the geometry in this case is going to be the similar triangles. So let's pull those out of our diagram and make it a little more crisp. Okay, so there's a simpler picture. And then we have y up here, 6 here, x down here, and then 15 all the way across. So our two bases are x for the short one and 15 for the long one. Our two heights are 6 for the short one and y for the long one. 
Okay, and then similar triangles relate the ratios of all the sides here. So there's, there's a bunch of ways you can do similar triangles, but I'll do the small triangle to the large triangle. So that tells us x is to 15 as, that's the equal sign there, 6 is to y. And there we have an equation that relates everything in this example in a simple equation. Let's just simplify it a little more by multiplying up by 15. So we have x equals 90 over y. Back to our steps. Step three says use the chain rule to differentiate both sides with respect to t. Okay, well, let's do that. d by dt, d by dt of both sides. So that gives us dx dt equals, um, how about, so this is y to the negative one. So when we take that derivative, we get negative 90 over y squared dy dt, there's our chain rule, dt. Okay, well we have dy dt, but we actually don't know what y is just yet. And we want, we're interested in a certain snapshot of time. Right here it says, when he is nine feet from the light. So when we say he is nine feet from the light, that is x. So if we can plug in nine for x, we can then solve that for y. I'll actually plug it in right here. So just trying to solve for a y here. Okay, so we had 9 equals 90 over y. So solving that gives us y equals 10. Okay, so let's plug everything in and see where we can go here. We're looking for dx dt. Okay, so plugging in we have negative 90 over y, which is 10 squared, which gives us a 100. And then dy dt was given in the problem to be negative 2. So this all comes to 1.8. 1.8 what? Feet per second. That's the rate at which the man is walking towards the building. And to me, it's pretty incredible that we can compute that based on the rate at which the man's shadow is changing. We're doing some pretty serious mathematics here. Now, you may protest and say, well, shouldn't that be negative 1.8 because he's walking to the left? Well, no, because since this distance x would be 0 right up against the light and is getting bigger and bigger and bigger as he walks away from the light, this distance must be the positive direction. So as he walks towards the building, we're defining that to be the x positive direction. So indeed, this should be positive, which is the result we got.